Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to be behind the camera again. I can't, I can't tell you how happy I am. So here again, I bring you guys another holiday look. This one is very glam as well. And it has the classic red lipstick that most people wear for Christmas. Or that, you know, when you think of Christmas, you think red lipstick. So I was like, okay, let's put on a red lipstick. Something soft, but yeah, glam on the eye. I love it. I used several palettes for this. Um, I will run that down for you guys in the voiceover. I love how it turned out and I hope you guys love how it turned out too. And if you guys want to know how I got this look, then keep on watching. So let's start by prepping our skin. I am going to go in with this fresh serum, which is everything. And then I'm going to apply MAC Strobe Cream for a little bit more hydration. And then I'm going to jump in with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer to prep my eyelids for the eyeshadow. Jumping into the Jackie Ina palette, I am going to use the shades Ginger, Clouded, and Zam. So I'm going to start off with Ginger and this is going to be my transition shade. I'm going to apply that in my crease area and just blend it out until I get the intensity that I want. And then picking up the shade Credit, I'm going to kind of create a eyeliner with this and I'm going to bring it just a little bit into my crease. And of course I'm going to do the same on the other eye because why wouldn't we? Then I'm going to pick up another brush which is a little bit more dense so I'd be able to apply a little bit more shadow and really deepen that liner and I'm going to apply that right across my lash line to create again that eyeliner kind of look. And of course I'm going to pick a nice fluffy brush and we're going to blend that out. Now with my fingers I am going to pick up the shade Sam and I'm going to apply that on my lid and then again pick the shade credit and intensify that liner that I'm sort of creating with the eyeshadow with my elf liner I am going to create a really thin eyeliner. I want to keep it on the thin side so I was being extra careful this time because it can very easily go wrong so I did it with very small strokes and just kept it thin. Now I'm going to pick up the Anastasia Self Made Palette. This is an oldie but goodie. And I'm going to pick up the color Spirit Rock and I am going to apply this over top the liner that I created and make it a little bit more bold, kind of add a little bit more oomph to it. Taking the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, I am going to apply this to the highest points of my cheeks just to give my face a little bit more glow before I apply the foundation. And with my Real Techniques brush, I mean sponge, I am going to blend it out. Taking the Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation, I am going to apply this as my foundation for this look. Honestly, this foundation is not my favorite. After a couple of hours wearing this makeup, I noticed that, you know, you could see my lines a little bit more and it kind of just floated on my skin. It didn't really like sink into my skin like the L'Oreal Infallible one does. That one to me is excellent, um, but you know, I had to make it work for this look. With the Mario Badescu Facial Spray, I am going to apply this to my face to kind of help me blend out the foundation a little bit more with the Real Techniques sponge. 
With the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, you guys are going to see this concealer in all of my videos because it's my absolute favorite. And I'm going to apply it to my under eye, of course, and I'm going to blend it out with this brush, which I think gives me a wonderful finish. And then I'm going to take the Anastasia Banana Powder and I'm going to set my concealer on my forehead, on my nose, and my chin. These are the areas that I get oily throughout the day, so I want to try and keep it a little bit matte for as long as possible. And then I'm going to go and do my eyebrows. And just like that, they're done. <laughs> Moving on to the lower lashes, I am going to take the shade Ginger again, and I'm going to blend that baby out. And then the inner corner, I am going to highlight it with Treasure from the Anastasia Self Made Palette. And over here is a clip of me applying my liner on the lower lash line, because it's very hard to film that. I'm going to take my Lily Lashes, the Boston ones, and I'm going to apply that. And of course, this is the finished I look I love how it looks I know that I say that all the time but I just you know I'm very happy when I like looks I cannot tell you guys how many times I have scrapped looks but anyways let's go in with the Tom Ford bronzer and I'm going to apply this very generously to my face to just give myself a little color and then I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury glowgasm palette and I'm going to pick that nice little corally peachy blush and I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and then I'm going to take the highlighter from the same palette and apply that to my cheekbones and a little bit all over my face and now for the bold red lip I'm going to take this lip liner from Kevin Aquan in the shade Cerise I believe and I'm just going to line my lips and then I am going to take this true red lipstick shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette and I am going to of course apply that on my lips and then I'm going to take a little bit of the black shade I mean of the black color lipstick in the same palette just to deepen it a little bit more and this was like the perfect deep red and this is the finished look. that's all you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is the second holiday look that I do this year and I promise you guys more are going to come and hopefully I keep on doing this because I do love being behind the camera and I do love bringing you guys looks so God willing we do this we got this I got this see y'all in the next